what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel uh hope you guys are having a good was it today saturday sunday the time you guys are watching this i think uh the past week was what thanksgiving and black friday I, honestly guys i've been running around a lot uh, a lot of friends givings a lot of food being eaten i gotta start working out if you guys um ate a lot <laughs> make sure to work out make sure to fast or something diet a little bit because like you know, it's coming up into the, the cold season, the winter season, and you're not going to feel like moving. You're not going to feel like going outside. So it doesn't matter where you are in the country. It's it's a country or world, or whatever. It's going to get cold no matter what. So basically today I wanted to talk a little bit about Warzone. Uh, not a whole lot in the Warzone. Truth be told, I have not even touched Warzone 2 yet. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. But I did see this like tweet floating around. I saw J Bo and the man make a video on this as well. So I wanted to... Uh, kind of talk about that uh if you're interested in the video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel okay i really appreciate the recent support we're coming up on 8k which is really good because i was stuck in the 7000s uh for subscribers for a long long time so hopefully you know we hit the 8k by the end of the month kind of like i wanted i did miss kind of a day in between uploads the other day because i was doing every other day and uh, I didn't hit, you know, every single day. So anyway, let's talk about this tweet. I'm going to flash it on screen right here. This is basically four like recoil patterns for long range fights in Warzone 2. I'm not entirely sure if this translates to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I That remains to be seen, I think. Uh, but for, for sure, it's regarding Warzone 2. So basically, there's same gun, same attachment, same tuning, max recoil stabilization, same place. But there's four different mags and four different patterns, or not four different patterns, but just, just different patterns every single time. And you can see they don't look the exact same. They're kind of similar, except for the one in the blue. But it just kind of remains to be seen, like, why are there four, like, it's the same guns, right? Same attachments, same tuning, same exact wall, just different magazines. But yet we have a different pattern every time. And so basically the, the point of all this is just saying that it doesn't seem like anything's consistent in the sense of like like attachments don't do what they're supposed to be doing and i think this is kind of ringing true for modern warfare 2 multiplayer as well because i don't see a lot of like uh, okay i do see a lot of barrels doing basically the same thing vertical and horizontal recoil like stabilization or whatever and then at the cost of like ads and aiming stability i don't have an example right here on screen for you guys but like you guys know what I'm saying. Like if you go through the attachments, if you go through the barrels or muzzles and things like that, you basically see that a lot of the things do the exact same thing. I know Birdman made a video on this as well. I think Blame Truth, Exclusive Ace. I'm sure multiple people have made the videos on this. And what's crazier is that there's no like weapon descriptions or any like added bars or details to determine like what each exact like attachment is doing. And also, these attachments, I've said this before, but these attachments have so many downsides, so many negatives, that it's like, what is the point of using it? I literally would, would like, you know, unlock a Fennec or something like that, put some attachments on, do worse than when it was only having like one attachment. I'd go back, take them all off, and then I'd start doing good again. And it's just like, what is the point of using these attachments then? What's the point of leveling up these guns? You know, I... I just don't get it. They're not like super difficult to level and it's not like there's like a ton of levels either, but it just remains to be seen as to why there's so many things that don't do anything in the game. I think it's different back in like Call of Duty Vanguard, Call of Duty Cold War, when uh, there was like a ton of optic sites, right? And there's like so many optic sites you could choose from. And then you know, at the end of the day, you know, you only run in with like a red dot or iron sight, right? Pretty much. Maybe a hollow or two times sight if you're like, you know, going for long shots. But for the most part, you'd only run like one or two, but there was like 15 different optics. That's kind of like the translation I'm getting here. And I didn't feel this way about Modern Warfare uh 2019 which was a good thing there was what like two or three barrels to choose from a couple of muzzles to choose from you know the monolithic suppressor whatever but in this game there's like 15 12 to 15 things for every single attachment and i, I like that you can only pick five you know as opposed to 10 i think vanguard kind of pushed the edge a little bit there too much i like that you can only pick five what i don't like is that you don't know what anything does and like i said in this chart before or this graph or whatever it it's like I don't know what anything's doing. <laughs> what's the what's the point of running something if you don't know exactly what it's end up doing? One of the big things that this guy named True Game Data or True Game Data? I don't, how do you say data? Data? I don't know. <laughs> One of the big things that this guy adds, and he's kind of like a stats guy as well. He says a big reason why I'm very frustrated with the game. I can no longer master a weapon, learn its recoil, and get good with it. If you think about it, this is like a basic mechanic that should be in. Uh, <laughs> 
Call of Duty games or should be just in games in general, right? It's just like you learn a weapon, you learn a shooter, and then eventually you get good at it because you master it, you practice it and things like that. This kind of a system doesn't let you, it doesn't give you the opportunity to get good with anything because the, all the re all the recoil patterns are, are different with every magazine. So it's like if you want to use a certain mag you, like you can't use certain magazines, right? You can only use the 30, the base 20 or whatever. You can't go up to a 60 because then you have to all of a sudden a whole new recoil pattern. I've said this before, but basically just to reiterate, it just seems like so much of Modern Warfare 2 like was changed or modified for like just no reason. And not, not no reason, but like... <laughs> It, it was just modified for the sake of changing things, okay? <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of it. I, I'm really not. I don't know what else to add to this video, dude. I, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse or whatever. I'm just going to talk about my thoughts on Mono for 2 right now. Because honestly, I've been playing Shoot House a lot. I've been, I actually got my first gold guns. I got the MP7. I got the uh, 74U. Uh, so it's like kind of fun, like actually accomplishing things and like getting things done now. So I like that. Um, I What I don't like basically is just how like bad the other maps feel now you know like once you get off shoot house and go back into certain maps like Tarak, for instance I, I can't even play anymore santacina you know before i like i could play it, but now my attention span for these like small maps is just like why waste you know 10 minutes on Tarak getting like 15 kills when i could play shoot house for 10 minutes and get like 55 kills you know what i'm saying like that's kind of like the mentality now i'm not saying i'm gonna get 55 kills every time in shoot house but the potential is there versus Tarak, the potential is not really Really there and as far as like having fun goes as far as having like more interactions goes i'm gonna have more fun and interactions on shoot house like nine times out of ten versus any other map some maps yeah they're gonna be nice uh, like embassy you know things like that they're gonna be nice they're gonna be fine but at the same time kind of just like why not just play shoot house why not just spend your time on shoot house instead that's my mentality that's my logic um that's just kind of what i think right now so I don't know, man. I, I Again, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Life's been pretty good for me recently. I hope, you know, you guys are doing well. If you're struggling with anything, you know, go talk to someone. Uh, I know that like, mental health is a big thing. I know that, you know, the holidays can be hard for some people as well. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not like a therapist or whatever, but <laughs> just, you know, if you're going through anything, talk to someone. Don't go through it alone. You're, you're not going to be alone. Okay, let's put it that way. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new and, uh, I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day and peace.